Hey Limlisters, did you know that you can use Limlist to add labels to better organize your campaigns and to see the results from a group of campaigns? Well, you can. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a label, why labels will help you become more efficient, reviewing the results of a group of campaigns, and using the search bar to filter your campaigns. So let's jump right into it. Here you can see all of my campaigns and I just have a couple of labels to divide them. So I want to organize it just a little bit better. So I'm going to add some more labels to do this. I'm just going to go into the campaign that I would like to add a label to, and I'm going to go to options. And then you can see here the label section. Now from here, you can either create a new label or add an existing one. In this case, I'm going to create a new one. So I'll go here to create, and this is one of my networking campaigns. So I'm going to put in networking campaigns. Great, so there you can see my new label. Here on the side, you can see my new label. And as soon as I click save, then you'll see my campaign go into this label. Now, all I have to do to add the other ones in is just go to the other campaigns and I can add a label here and I'll go ahead and go networking campaign save. I'll do the same thing and add all of my networking campaigns. This is very helpful because it will allow me just to organize my campaigns better and this is especially great for our team because we use different campaigns such as networking campaigns but we also use campaigns like when we are going to interview someone for podcasts, we create campaigns for that. So we want to separate those as well. And for backlinks, we also have separate campaigns. So this will allow me to create a label for networking, for backlinks, and for interviews and podcasts. Another great thing about the labels is that I can simply edit them by going here to the label, clicking on it, and I can change the name of the label or remove it at any time. Another wonderful thing about this feature is that it will allow you to view the results of a group of campaigns. So for instance, how I just created a new label for networking campaigns, if I go into my reports, either up here by clicking reports or by clicking the keyboard shortcut R, then I can see here by just by going through and clicking on the label that I will have the results for my whole group of campaigns. So this is great because I can see all of my networking efforts and the results I've had throughout several months, which is perfect for me. It's also important to note that you can actually go in and filter your campaigns even more once you're in the reports. So for example, I have all of my networking campaigns, but I just want to look for January. I'll just start typing and you can see that my campaign will come up here. Another great thing about this feature is that you can add several lab labels to each one of your campaigns and you can create as many labels as you would like. So this is perfect, for example, in this case, because this, like I said, is a networking campaign. So I added it to my networking label, but it's, it's also a January campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and create another label for my January campaigns. And that way I can add this one to both of these labels. So again, this is really helping with my organization and helping me to be able to see the results for several different groups in comparison to each other. Now, if this seems a bit overwhelming for you here in the sidebar and you want to organize it a bit more, another wonderful thing about labels is that it really will allow you to focus on certain groups. So for example, if I only want to focus on my networking campaigns, I can simply go here and click on the arrows to expand the or retract each label. So I'm only focusing on my networking campaign, so I've selected only those. That was it for today's video. I hope this has helped you to better organize your campaigns. If you have any questions, just go up here to the question mark and you can check out our help and support guide or you can always chat with us. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more about what is new with Lemlist. That's it guys, have a great day.